Heyo, boss, and welcome back. We want to thank everyone for just bearing with us. The past couple weeks were really busy. Um, Chef actually uh, got sick a couple weeks ago, which kind of pushed production back. We also had a really busy year end, and a lot of stuff kind of happened, which we'll talk about uh, in a couple future videos. But we are back. Um, Chef's figuring out if he can still cook or not. We're hoping he can. We heard uh, you've been ordering out a little bit, Chef, and we're uh, let's see what you still got the skills. Uh, looks like Chef's got his little uh, mentor mentee there action going. There's baby Michael in his chef outfit ready to cook. I bet he could probably do a better job than you, Chef, but whatever. But we are back, and today we're going to show you how to make kalbasa bites. Very simple and very delicious. So I guess there's nothing else to say besides let's get cooking. The first thing you're going to do is pick up some kalbasa at the store, and there's all different kinds, so pick up whatever one you like. And you're going to cut these into very small bite-sized pieces. Don't forget all the ingredients will be listed down below, as well as check out our blog for uh, everything else on how to make it in directions. Next up, all you're going to want to do is take out your slow cooker and just spritz the inside with a little bit of uh, non-stick uh, non spray. Looks like I need some more time off. Go ahead and place your cut-up kielbasa right in there. And next, we're going to go ahead and make our glaze. So go ahead and take out a nice, uh, decent-sized bowl. Chef's got his glass bowl here. And go ahead, and the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to throw in some barbecue sauce. And next up, you're just going to go ahead and add your chili sauce right there. Give it a good shake there, Chef. Okay, followed up by some grape jelly. Next up is going to be some Worcestershire sauce. And then just a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder. And then just slowly whisk everything together. There's some whisk in action there by baby Michael. Chef, is he doing all the work? Go ahead now, pour the glaze right on top of your kielbasa. And then give it a good mixing. And then you can either cook this on low for about six hours, or you can cook it on high for roughly about two to three. It won't take long, you just kind of measure it. Um, the time wise, check it out, uh, test them, things like that. However, when everything is all said and done, Chef put these over some nice, a little bit of rice. He did say if you want to cut these into larger pieces, you can make a dinner out of it. But other than that, just throw some toothpicks in it, put it on a platter, and then people will eat these right up. Thanks everyone for sticking with us. We are back again. What do you think there, baby Michael? Did you like it? I think you did. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll be back soon. Have a great one, everyone. Don't forget, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it.